In a year that saw unrest sweep across the Middle East and Northern Africa, the world, for the third year running, has become less peaceful. The Global Peace Index is the world's leading measure of national peacefulness, ranking the nations of the world by their levels of peace. The index is comprised of 23 measures which cover internal and international conflict, safety of citizens and militarization. Iceland is the most peaceful country, edging ahead of last year's leader New Zealand. Iceland's political climate stabilized, while the country also made cuts to its military expenditure. Japan, meanwhile, remains the third most peaceful country in the world. Somalia, Iraq and the Sudan are the world's least peaceful nations. However, Iraq has moved from the bottom position for the first time in five years. Despite the ongoing war on terror, the potential for terrorist acts recorded the biggest increase of all the indicators, with 29 countries facing an increased threat of terrorism. The second poorest performing indicator is the likelihood of violent demonstrations being affected largely by the Arab Spring uprisings. On a more positive note, the indicator measuring military expenditure as a percentage of GDP has recorded the biggest improvement, with worldwide cuts in military budgets for the second successive year. These cuts were accompanied by improvements in relations with neighboring states, which recorded the second highest improvement of all the indicators. The impact of events in the Middle East has been dramatic. Libya saw the largest drop in the history of the Global Peace Index, falling 83 places to 143rd in the rankings. Bahrain fell 51 spots, while Egypt slid by 24. For the fifth year, Western Europe is the most peaceful region, with four Nordic countries ranked in the top 10. However, unrest caused by economic instability has led to a deterioration of peace in Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Spain and Greece. The United States is ranked 82nd, a slight improvement on last year, while Canada's improving relations with its neighbouring countries helped the country make the top 10 for the first time. Sub-Saharan Africa, meanwhile, remains the region least at peace, although some countries such as Malawi and Ghana have seen substantial improvements in their ranking this year. Most interestingly, the dramatic changes in this year's Global Peace Index are due to internal conflicts between citizens and their governments and not because of wars between nations. But any conflict costs. Our research shows that if the world had been 25% less violent in the past five years, the global economy would have benefited from an additional $9.4 trillion. That's more than enough to pay for investments to avoid the worst effects of climate change, to achieve the Millennium Development Goals, to eliminate the public debt of Greece, Portugal and Ireland, and to repair the damage from the 2011 Japanese earthquake and tsunami, with almost two trillion US dollars remaining. While conflict costs, peace pays off in many ways. The environments which lead to peace also create more sustainable and resilient societies.